In a dark room, in cold sheets I can't feel a damn thing I lost myself between your legs Your medicine is in my head You know I'd rather be alone yeah. What's up guys, it's Callie and for today's video I have a complete back to school look for you guys that includes the hair, makeup, and the outfit. This is kind of a basic yet simple yet cute look. I would say the only thing extreme here is the makeup because I did a little bit of darker eyeshadow than I normally would for my everyday makeup because this is like what you would probably wear to like the first week of school because I know the second week I'm just like screw it and I just put my hair up and go in like sweatpants because let's face it no one likes school that much but if you want to do the makeup like not as extreme as it is in the video then that is completely up to you because you want to feel confident in your own way whenever you're going back to school also just a little disclaimer sorry if like the winged eyeliner or like anything different about my makeup looks different than it is when I show you in the tutorial it's because I filmed this video on two different days so that's why I'm sorry don't yell at me but yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoy this and thanks for watching and let's get started in a dark room, in cold so first I just gotta put my hair up so it's not in my way when I'm doing makeup then I'm going to be priming with the Benefit Professional that I love so, so much. It really is a good primer, honestly. The next thing I'm using is my Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation that I use pretty much all the time. And I'm speeding through this. And sorry if I'm looking up because my mirror was like right beside my camera. So I just dabbed it on my face and blended it with my Beauty Blender. Next thing is concealer because I am human and humans have zits and under eye bags as well. So there is just me putting it on and I also use this as a primer for my eyeshadow because it works the same way as a normal primer would and plus it's easier to do especially when you're in the rush in the morning. Then I'm taking my Clinique powder that I use pretty much every day and I'm using it to set all the foundation and the concealer so my face does not get oily and gross and it doesn't move because that's disgusting. And now it's time to contour. I took my Hoola bronzer because it's my life and I love it so much. And yes, I am aware I make the weirdest faces, but it just makes my bronzer go on a lot smoother and I just love the way it looks. And here we have a view of my very bad sunglasses tan line, which ain't cute. For blush, I took my NYX Mozak powder, which as you could see, I dropped it and one of the blushes came out. There's me attempting to get it out without not like dropping it everywhere and stuff. And I just put it on and now the face makeup is done and come closer because now it's eyebrow time. I simply brushed out my eyebrows using this spoolie brush and then right after that I took a matte brown eyeshadow which you can't see here but no there it is and I brushed it through with an angled brush and this was just quicker than whenever I use my brow is because you don't have to draw anything you could just lightly fill them in and then I used a brow gel just to set them for the whole day so they don't move. Then for the eyeshadow, I took that same color I used to fill in my brows and placed that all over my lid. And for the crease, I took this dark brown, that shimmery, there you can see it now. This just shimmery dark brown color and I put it in my crease and I literally blended the crap out of it. You can see it's like in fast motion. I just blended it until I thought it was perfect. And it just created this dark kind of look that was simple but cute. So then I took a highlight color and my camera doesn't show me doing this but there it is done. Um, yeah. So then it was liquid eyeliner time and you see I messed up so I was just like screw it. And then boom it's done and it's not as perfect but oh well. If you guys want a video of how I do my winged eyeliner leave a comment. So I could see. Now it's simply just curl my eyelashes and then I applied mascara and I used the Maybelline Rocket for the mascara of today. You just apply it like you would any other mascara. And that's what the eyes look like whenever they are all done. 
It's just something that's simple, but it looks like you took a lot of time. I'm talking so much. I'm so sorry. I took this Revlon color burst that was a light pink, and I just applied it. So then I sprayed with the Urban Decay setting spray, and then my hair is down so you can see like the full effect of the makeup. And that's what it looks like. It's just so pretty. I love it so much. It's great for school. So now it's on to the hair. Yay! I decided not to use any heat on my hair because I was just feeling myself this day. But if you want to, that's okay. But my roots were all greasy, but no fear, dry shampoo is here. This one is from Batiste, and I just sprayed it in my roots. No big deal. To get rid of all the oiliness, because my hair gets oily pretty easy, and it's really annoying. But I gotta deal with it. So I put dry shampoo in, and here's what I did for the style. So I took like um, half of my hair, like you see here. I suck at explaining, you just kind of have to watch the video. But I just pulled half of my hair up, and then I tied it with an elastic, which you can see I'm doing right now. And you could just look at my face, because it's like funny, because it looks like I'm struggling. <laughs> it's funny to laugh at myself whenever I'm doing this. So once you've created the ponytail, go ahead and start twisting it like you see I'm doing. And then once you have it twisted, you're gonna like twist it around again to form this cute little bun. And you're just gonna keep twisting until you have the bun all ready. And then you're just gonna tie the bun with a ponytail. And then that is pretty much it for the hair. It looks like you took time, but you didn't. So now it is time for the outfit, which is just simple but cute. So my t-shirt is from Gap, just a basic simple white v-neck. And then my jeans are also from Gap as well. And then I paired it with black Converse. This is simple but cute and perfect for school. Okay guys, so that was my back to school makeup and hair and um, outfit look. I didn't really know how to put that. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And make sure to leave a comment saying what your favorite part of summer was. Because whether we like it or not, summer is coming to an end and I know it sucks. But we could get through it together. Sometimes I kind of wish I had my life together. But I don't. Hey guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I love you all. Kisses through the screen. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!